pitch to hit, you know, a good pitch to hit and pass it on to the next guy. Um, we had some good momentum going through that last inning, so, um, you know, a guy ma made some good pitches. You know, you got to tip your hat to them. When there's that long wait as they're bringing a new guy in, what's kind of your thought process? What are you looking over? What are you looking for? You know, just his go-to pitches, really, and, um, you know, just not trying to fall into some traps and, you know, swing at good pitches, believe in myself, believe in the other guys, and, um, you know, like I said, this game's hard, so just fell short. Why do you think it's important, or how do you think it can benefit you to go through late game situations like tonight, so early into your career? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, even starting at LSU, you know, you, you get put up in big situations throughout your whole career. It's uh, it's what guys are made of, and um, a lot of times you're going to fail. You know, this game's really hard. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I believe in everybody. Everybody believes in each and every one of us. So, um, you know, it's just gonna it's gonna happen. You know, we just got to brush it off and move to the next day. Like you said, you've been in big moments like that since college. Now the pros, just what's your confidence level when you're in a situation like that? Oh, it feels great. Um, my, I feel very confident up there. You know, um, you know, I, b I believe in myself in those situations. Uh, but like I said, it's it's a hard game, and um, you know, sometimes you fall short. So you got to brush it off and move on to the next day. Truthfully, just made really bad two strike pitches. You know, put myself in the driver's seat and um, not being able to put guys away, making. Uh, not only bad pitches, you know, but pitches that put guys in good positions to hit and slug and um, to come out with seven runs, you know, is deserved. Did you mentioned that you were keeping the ball low for most of the night and up in the second inning. How do you evaluate that? Why do you feel like that maybe happened? Yeah, you know, it comes down to execution. I think that just executed really poorly in that second inning. Um, you know, I think it's something where I got to shift the focus with two strikes and um, be better and make better pitches in those counts for sure. What have you learned about yourself as a pitcher to this point that you were able to bounce back and continue deeper into? It? Yeah, you know, at that point, um, seven nothing damage is done, and it's all about getting length there and trying to save the pen as much as possible. And um, you know, still would even like to go deeper than that, but. At that, at the end of the day, you're uh, fighting to get out there and um, trying to save the pen as much as possible.